Today I want to talk to you guys about something that we kind of skip over sometimes. Makeup. Hey guys, Walter with the Black Field Guild. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about makeup. You know, we kind of gloss over makeup in some of our, uh, our pieces that we do. And so I think it's really important. It's something that I personally tend to skip over, part, uh, mainly because I do a lot of documentary shooting and because I don't really have experience doing makeup. And so I rely on uh, a lot of people who, you know, in, in this case women, because they do makeup a lot more than men, uh, to help me out in that aspect of filmmaking. So here's a couple of things that I noticed that people use in their makeup bags when they're doing makeup. And so I just want to go ahead and list those things out for you. So in the future, if you're ever uh, somewhere or, or wondering what you should bring or what you might need, at least this is a small uh, list of things that will get you the basics. This is in no way uh, a list to replace a professional makeup artist, but this is more for people who have no clue what, what they're doing for makeup and just need the, the bare basics. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and list those out for you right now. So looking in your makeup bag, I'm going to go ahead and start on that list. And the first thing on that list is anti-shine gel. And you want to make sure that you don't put this over makeup. And you're going to be using this to pretty much knock down the light. And along with that, you want to have a cosmetic sponge and blotting powder. And you want to make sure that the blotting powder adds no color. And it will actually knock down the color from the light. So that way you don't get any harsh reflections. And another thing is also a nose and ear groomer. And this is something that you want to have on set just in case um, the person who's going to be on camera might not be properly groomed and you want to give the, you want to bring forth uh, that next level of professionalism. And you know, when approaching something like this, you want to really use a certain level uh, because it might be uh, a little bit more embarrassing. So you want to come at it in a very sensitive manner. So uh, with that being said, uh, those are the things that you want to you want to uh, make sure that you have. I'm going to go ahead and repeat those again. So we have anti-shine gel. We have a cosmetic sponge. We have blotting powder. And make sure that the blotting powder adds no color. No color. And uh, you want to have a nose and an ear groomer. So those are some basic uh, makeup must-haves. I hope that this information was helpful on makeup must-haves. Please leave a comment below and like and subscribe and let me know what you think. I hope to see you guys again here soon and have a happy new year.